thing i think uh, uh, since we have seen the uh, ict grow uh, i mean we have spent many years in uh, we okay. our uh, exposure to the automation really goes back uh, to a time time period then there was nothing e in fact a lot of work we used to do were manual and so we have yeah. actually seen um, uh, an evolution of uh, the new technology new, new technology into the domain of uh, governance um, are there different stages uh, in e governance i mean uh, we have some of the examples we have given perhaps are very com very sophisticated like a passport for instance yeah. are these the only uh, E governance initiatives that are uh, E governance initiatives no, are there I mean, to be simpler. These are, not, these are the examples we quoted. Nevertheless, we know pretty well at each and every stage of governance there is an interaction that is required with the people for good governance to happen. And in the process, every uh, delivery of service to the uh, citizens requires a fine tuning at the process uh, uh, adherence level and uh, changes in the methodology it is done in e-governance way so that the service is delivered yeah, in yeah. a faster so way just, just and just easier way. I was just trying to see are there simple e-governance systems and complex e-governance systems or yes. are all e-governance no, I think this, uh, this is anyway uh, is that uh, on a over a time period there is something called evolution. Nothing starts with hunky dory, you know it starts with a bottom line and, uh, and start from the uh, very very basic things either because of the technology not available, that is one possibility at any point or an ability to even imagine what can be done. So that is at the uh, level. So when so e-governance, you have to classify, yeah, yes. so, so, you so, classify so, I, so, so I think I uh, uh, will call classify first as the what happened. I would, you know, if I go back to G2G, I will say that the first stage of any uh, uh, e-initiative indirectly was G2G. The all the uh, computerization happened within the government sure. and uh, citizen uh, other stakeholders were not affected Party or no, participated sure. and things like that. Now over a period when technology started improving from mainframe computers to uh, main personal, personal computers, desktops, personal main computers computer. and primarily internet, then things uh, started moving in a completely different way and it was possible to that. So I think it, uh, the, uh, the, the classification that uh, industry t today tells me about the evolution is more in terms of presence, interaction, transaction and transformation. Right. And we can, you know, uh, So I think this that is, uh, you, you referred yeah, to a very yeah. popular uh, classification uh, uh, from one of the uh, leading names, uh, Gartner, which yeah. actually, of course, there are uh, uh, nothing is sacrosanct mm. in this line. There can be many kinds of classifications. Mm. But the point really is, uh, uh, e-governance being what it is, that it is still uh, evolving. Mm -hmm. um, we can be uh, charitable and we can say there are very simple uh, solutions uh, where a government department like you mentioned may simply have a web page with some static information. So it is a simple example because uh, whether it is adding value or not should be looked at from the stakeholders perspectives. We should not uh, look at it from a technology perspective and say building a simple web page and putting it on the web is not really doing a lot of good. It is not s sophisticated but to a remote villager who is able to access it and derive, derive benefit from it, it, it actually carries a lot yes. of it. So there are simple uh, web solutions, uh, e-gov solutions and there are uh, more uh, complex ones. I want to add a little more uh, detail about uh, governance to the public level. As Kapusa mentioned about uh, governance within the government that is G2G and G2B. When it comes to the population level or the citizens level of delivery of uh, these services for good governance to be effective, uh, we need to reach the people who are at the village level. For that the technology like uh, uh, internet and the broadband and mobile technologies are coming into play today and delivering the service delivery to the lowest at the bottom line of the citizen right. which is at the village level. Sure. We used to have a uh, technology wise a lost mile problem whereas the latest mobile technology is providing the lost mile problem and taking the governance part of it to the last beneficiary which is at the village level. That means when uh, e-governance is started we thought within the government to government then we thought it is government to business houses 
which will be ordered and other things. Then we came to the realization that it can be delivered even to the lowest bottom of the field sure. in the civilization level. Sure. So we started from centralized policies in decision making and uh, legislation, then came to state level administration and state level policies and state level connectivity part of it. Then we moved to district level, then we moved to further right. down what to the panchayat and villages. Perhaps level. what we are now trying to say uh, is uh, one of the